don't even know how you'd sum that one up. It's a huge disappointment to not actually be able to walk on the two points. Yeah, yeah. I think especially uh, when we're at, I think it was 28 16 or something, but they're a good team. They've been together a while. If there's a team that you don't want to drag into a sort of a try scoring contest or a golden point, it'd be them. So, yeah, mixed. I'm disappointed, but as I said to the team, at 10 0 down, had you said, we're going to walk away with 32 all and you're going to get Cherry Evans to pull out three times from going for a field goal, meaning that you're going to have someone there pressuring him. I'll take that. We didn't have that last year. There were so many turning points in the game, lead changes. Um, if we start in the first half and what happened with Lockie Miller in the first try of the game, yep. what were you thinking? When Lockie was behind the... Yeah. yeah. I, I reckon that summed us up. We... Um, I wouldn't say we did the toe, but we weren't there mentally. Last week we were prepared to um, just play a real deliberate, direct game and kick into corners and just felt like we didn't want to go through that period. We wanted to go straight to the fancy stuff and we're a little bit fluffy at the start, mentally. Thank God, they, to their credit, they got themselves back into the contest. So. What did you think of the Simbin in the first half? Uh, yeah, look... I'd like Lockie to be a bit dis uh, disciplined at the end of the... Are you talking about Lockie? It's, yeah, I'd like him to be disciplined at the back end of the set. Um, I'll probably stay away from that. Okay. Dom Young, four tries on return. Yep. It looked like we could be celebrating that. Obviously, it's not to be, but it's still an incredible effort in that try. Like, the field one was something to behold. Yeah. Yeah, I think his response after I left him out of the team... Uh, not only in the game that he played last week, he was the best player in our reserve grade, which is what you want. If you get dropped from first grade, you better be the best player in reserve grade the following week, and he was, him and Jack Johns. Um, so he earned his way back into the side. You know, how Heimel had a rib cartilage issue, and it was an easy decision. He looked like genius is now putting him back in today, and he scores a couple of tries. How's uh, the Bradman best call, the no try? You look like you're celebrating a potential win there, and then that's pulled back quite late in the piece, what did you think? Uh, I thought it was a try, I'm assuming. Did you guys think it was a try? Yeah, he, he, he kept it in his arm. The question is, did it then lose control into the defending player that's got to look at multiple replays, slow it down. Uh, but with the interpretation of the tries now, the grounding being a little bit mm. more in favour of the attacking team, I was interested to see what way they were mm. So. You guys are the experts, you're the ones who... Yeah, I, I don't want to be that, that to be the narrative that we're whinging about a try, but I thought it was a try. I think we had to look at it real hard. We had to pick... We had to pick fly shit out of pepper to find a reason. Jane, all, you know, through, all through the <laughs> results this year, you went to Tigers, you had everything going against you, and then had to fight hard at home against the Raiders again today from 10 nil down. Do you feel there's more resilience in this team this year than when you've been there previously? Without a doubt. I think in all of our wins, I think the way the games have gone, if it was last year's team, we may not have come away with the two points there. And today we definitely wouldn't have come away with the one. So um, I'm just really proud that we could continue to show our character and we continue to build every week. And you know, it's a long season, so we've got to keep building. And what do you attribute that to? Is it belief? Is it something you've done in the off-season? Hard work in some regard? What is it? Yeah, we had a tough camp in the pre-season. I think um, the hurt we went through last year has really given us that fire in the belly that we needed to change this season. And as you, as you said, you know, we've, we've really shown in the opening five rounds of the competition. And, you know, it's only five rounds in, though, but we've got to continue to keep showing it. How's Tyson Campbell? Yeah, he's uh, back to his usual self down in the shed. So, um, yeah, I saw the incident from the box and knew he wasn't, didn't look great, but uh, he's been good in the shed. So. What about Croker? Uh, yeah, good. First one was a burner with the shoulder and the second one was ribs, but uh, yeah, I think he'd be okay for next week too. Right, Okay. <laughs> I was never much of a good sword anyway. Sorry. So, uh, yeah. So Just spread breathe through the mouth. Yeah, it's a bit sore, but no, I'll be right. Heard for radio. <laughs> and Adam, how do you live a day stand down with Tyson? You wouldn't expect that in now uh, for next weekend against the Warriors, unless there was some sort of uh, reason to appeal for leniency, but you'd be planning to come up with a new 5 8 next week? Yep, yeah. We're. Um... I don't think you'll get away with the leniency thing if it's if it's a category, whatever it is, and well, that's what it is. Um, 
But we're getting used to it. We've had years of this, just I don't know, next one in and we'll find a way to get it done. You know, as I said at the start, when we've had to make those changes in the past, we haven't been able to overcome it, but I feel like with this group, We'll just come with whatever our way is. So we've got some key personnel in, in Jacob and obviously Kaelin and Kurt Mann not there. Kurt Mann will come back to us next week, Adam Elliott. So we've handled it. Everything has come our way. And I felt like every game we've had something to handle. Um, and we have. We're, we're a lot tougher than we were, actually. I was just going to say, Adam, five games in, how happy are you with where the team's at? Um, yeah, look, the obvious answer is a case. You'd want to be higher on the ladder, but I know long term, and I'm not talking years or rebuilds, any of that, I'm talking about longer the season goes on and you'll naturally get some personnel back. The foundations that we've uh, ingrained over the last you know, four or five weeks, that makes me proud of them. I know we can build with that. How about the goal kicking? They seem to chop and change a bit today. Would you rather have one guy who does the goal, goal, goal kicking every time? Ideally, yeah. If that was, yeah. Ideally, you'd want one guy that does all the practicing. But both of them, are, both of them go at it pretty hard during the week. And um, yeah, it's usually, well, it's a good luxury to have have two guys in there. I would have obviously would have liked to kick more tonight, but um, I let them sort of sort it out amongst themselves. I'll address that during the week. And how about Caelan? I understand he's back. Is there any sort of update yet on how he went over there and that sort of stuff? Uh, only the one that I think everyone got that he was he was quite satisfied that it went well. There was a fair bit of positivity coming out around that trip. I haven't got the details from anyone of credibility, like doctors and all that. I haven't got any of that, so there's no point in me commenting any further. So I assume uh, this week sometime you'll have to make some decision on when he's back and that sort of stuff. Yeah, and once we get all the information, then we'll sit down and work out yeah, that from there. Thanks, folks.